Whoa! Hey, you know what's in this case? This, viewers, is what we're gonna review today. Came TV's Wero Duplex Wireless Intercom System. And this has to be good point number one. It comes in a solid, well-built case like this, which is really small. If you were to tell me that this is actually a wireless intercom system for like how many people? Four, I wouldn't believe this. But what I like about this, small, comes with a strap and sturdily built for wireless system for neatly inside, well padded. I love this. Next good point, how does Cam TV fit all the four units into this small case is fantastic. My production note says that it falls into the size of a tortilla, right? Why can't it be like chapati folded into half? There you go, see this? You can actually put this down and put this down and then you can have this over here and you're good to go. And what I like about this, look at this. This is the attention to detail that what Cam TV put in. Do you see this little sponge that is soft on your head, the offset is more towards the side of your head. Fantastic, well taught. This is fantastic, it's just resting mostly on this side. <laughs> the funny thing is, I know how to take them out. I do not know how to fit them back in, you know. If you own the Wiro wireless headset unit, all you need to do is remember this, the sponge and the sponge faces you and then you make sure that it's folded this way and this microphone boom comes like a half moon shape and then you fit it in and then put it in such a way that if you do this correctly they're gonna look like this all the boom arms facing down now i know why they're called like tortilla the next good point check this out the battery units are really small this door opens it and you pop this right out this is your very common easy to find canon nb6l batteries slim small no fuss, which means that you can just pop into any camera shop and say, Oi, do you have the old Canon battery? I want one. And remember, the leads to the battery are here and they're here, so make sure you pop them in the right way. If you pop it the other way, it will never work. What I like about this, the next good point, 150 gram without the batteries, which means that this is really light and you can like wear this the whole day and it doesn't feel heavy. Filming can be eight to 12 hours a day, having something that's heavy is not fun. The next good point, when you're done talking, just push this up. So when you wanna talk, just pull this down. It's that easy. Pushing it up will actually mute it. I can actually hear a click. So I'm ready to talk. Oi, donkey, don't put the C stand there, you're gonna kill somebody. And then put this up and say, oh no, I'm calling him donkey, not you. Okay, say something. Wow, it's really noisy there, but I cannot hear that background noise. He's like purposely standing next to a noisy aircon. I cannot hear that because of the noise cancellation. That's what I like about this, the noise cancellation feature of the Wiro. The next good point, the last thing you want to do is go up to your producer or your set manager and say, hey, I need more batteries. Where's the battery? Oh, you know, we don't have enough batteries. And this is what I like about it. The master unit can last 10 hours of battery. Yes, that small, Canon battery in there can last 10 hours. And then the slave unit can operate up to 13 hours. I get about 12 plus of hours with this. And having battery life like this is impressive. Oh hey, this is an important point and a good point. I've been using communication systems like this, reviewing them for quite some time. I noticed that they fall neatly into two categories. The first category is that you get a master and then you get like four or five slaves and then you go like, boom, hey, I have two more new crew members, like the wardrobe or the makeup artists, and I want to be able to communicate with them. And here's the problem. When you go to their website and you want to buy additional two slave units, you found out that, oh, I can't. I have to buy a whole complete set, which is a separate channel, and you need to tune this, so not fun. Came TV's Wiro allow you to extend up to 10 units. All you need is get this extender hub. Next good point, I want you to remember this number. That's right, 1,200 feet. That's the effective distance that the wireless unit can transmit. For the rest of you, it's 366 meters. Now, what is amazing at this? If you have a hub and you have your master unit and you have your slave or remote unit, you can actually have it in such a configuration that you can be extending 
the distance up to one kilometer. Well, I don't understand why you want to be like talking to somebody a kilometer away unless you are like this guy, Michael Bay. <laughs> and finally, the best good point. Remember this number, that's right, 598, and that's US dollar. That's the price for four units with an amazing case and all this battery. How many batteries they give us? Double, right? Yeah, this effectively makes Chem TV's Wero one of the cheapest you can get in the market. And the bad points, you cannot call a YouTube review a review until you have the good points and the bad points. I'm going to keep our review that straightforward. You hear the good points, I'm going to tell you the bad points. Bad point number one, my producers think the NB6L that they provide and use is a little bit old. Yichong is a valid fact, right? And that can be a bad point. But I look at it this way. When you make an international product like this, you are serving globally. There are some countries that still don't have the latest camera yet, right? Some third world countries, you want to keep the cost down. You want to make sure that everybody throughout the world can still get this. And if I'm the marketing manager, I might go with this battery because all is gold, but it may be aged. The Canon NB6L battery is commonly used in the Canon PowerShot series of cameras. And if you ever want to find one, look for the PowerShot that was the last release one is the G7X Mark III. This camera was launched in 2019. The next bad point, this is a bad point nonetheless. The problem with this battery is that it is like a square, it's flat, and you can put it in any way and it will still fit. And so the problem is that you can fit it in. This is what I call not idiot proof. If you flip it wrongly in the headset, you just can't turn it on and then you know you fit it in wrongly. But if you fit this into the charger wrongly and then come and look at it three hours later and then found out, duh, I put it wrongly. Yeah, you're the idiot because you put it in wrongly, but time wasted, you're not charging it. So, how do you do this? Simple. Take a marker pen and write here, this way, idiot. Next bad point. Take a look at these two units. One of it is a master. From the point of a user, it's like, hey, I can't tell the difference, but I'm going to tell you this. If you turn it on and then you see it blinking red color, that means it's the master. If it is blue color, that means is the slave unit. So the master is the one that makes sure that everybody gets communicated. You have to turn it on first and then the slave units get turned on. And if any of the slave units are on, you cannot turn off the master. From the manufacturing point of view, to keep costs down, I'm gonna make them all the same. But the beautiful part about this, they give you these labels that you can stick and put M right there. In fact, they give a few labels you can stick and make sure that you don't get a bigger idiot. So there you have it. You know what? If you cannot tell it, just, just spray it, you know? Spray it neon color, even cooler. But you don't need to do that, all right? They give you that sticker. But let me tell you the bad point that my producer thinks. He thinks that this thing is a bit too small. When you fit it here, it's a bit too small. Between big and small, you're gonna wait for 12 hours. I'll prefer small. You know why? I can like easily flip it to the back and do this or put it down so you don't feel hot. If you have a big cup here, you're gonna feel hot and claustrophobic after a while. But I want you to know, if you're somebody with big ears like this, then this may not be comfortable. The English and the grammar in the manual is a little bit confusing. So Chem TV, if you're watching this, I hope you can improve on this. That's the fun part about reading manuals like this, you know? Occasionally you read them and then you go like, get confused and then you go to chat GPT and then you ask them what this is and then everybody laugh. But really. Okay, the last bad point. My crew seems to think that you cannot off the master until all the slave has been turned off. Which is true. It can be annoying to hunt down that slave unit to off it first. But if it is the situation where you cannot turn it off, that means somebody is still using it, right? So you know what? Let me teach you this. You either go shout, Oi! Off your unit. You don't need to shout because you have a wireless communication system. 
Hey, I'm talking to the idiot that has not turned off the slave. Can you please turn off the slave so I can turn this off? If the idiot doesn't reply you, I'm going to teach you a better way, okay? Look, pull this out, pull this out, call it a day. All right, good, take, cut, bread. Okay, I know you are off work. I just want to quickly call and ask you, Chem TV's Wero wireless headsets, what would you rate it? From one being lousy all the way to five being really good. Three. Okay, it's not comfortable for you. We need to talk. You elephant ear. Okay, Tashin, your verdict. Yi Chong thinks it's a three because the feet doesn't fit him well. What would you think? You used this before, remember? I was teaching this class and you were using this. What do you think? Four. Four. What do you think? You know what? I'll give it a five, honestly. Because I come from a background of using big expensive units and they really cut my ear too long and the carrying case of all this is crazy and the batteries are cumbersome too expensive because they are custom built so if you ask me check out the price check out the size and the ability to fold it into the size of a tortilla and a case that small i'll give it a five so for the rest of you who want something affordable like this and really get you started look no further. So if you're a manufacturer of products and you want us to review your products, send us an email. Tell us about the products because the interesting thing about this is we do not charge for YouTube reviews and we review them fairly. So write to us and I'll catch you in the next episode of Beyond Photography channel. And this is what we're going to review today. The Chem TV Duplex Wero Chem TV Wero The Chem TV Fu the cam TV, cam TV. <laughs> and this is what we're going to review today. Cam TV's duplex wireless intercom system. Ew, I didn't say Wero. Huh? Yeah. <laughs>